Walked out of the hotel this morning <clears throat> and was greeted by this site right here. Just had to grab a few moments on camera for you. Yeah, I know you're jealous. I am so blessed to have the opportunity to be here. Now I'm going to take full advantage of it. Well, now i got to hike down to the uh, railway station. Well, we made a train and uh, right on time. In fact, we got an early train, really. This is the uh, first stop we're making at Bischhofen. Bischhofen, something like that. <laughs> I'm sure the one of the announcer pronounces it on over that intercom now, a second I wouldn't even close it. Well, we'll see. I don't guess he's supposed to be tired of looking at this. Shoot, I don't. They may, but I don't know. That's the name of the place, so I get that. So we're out here in the wall. Do shopping. See, each place you pull in for each station is named, so if you can't even pronounce it, you just. Uh, Match up the letters with what you got on your paper, and that's pretty well how you do it. Up here on the top, it's going to tell you to the next station. That's the time and the date. Salzburg and HVF is the final destination. Eight and time again. I'll tell you something like nice something. Yeah. N-A-C-A-G, I mean, that means next. Okay. There she goes out the station. Where we at? Let's look up. Folks start counting the wilds. Wow. Okay, that's three. Ooh, what's that in the background back there? Let's, let's see what we found here. Ooh, it looks like a medieval castle. Sit here now. You know the movie where Eagles Dare with Clint Eastwood and Burton, that Burton guy that married a uh, jewelry woman. I <laughs> forget her name too. Anyway, this is where it was filmed at. Richard Burton, that's who it was. Well, after a 25 minute ride uphill all the way, <laughs> we've reached this place where you get your tickets at. It's uh, 24 euro for the cable car and entrance to the cave. So now, I gotta walk up to the cable car and to the cave. So, here we go. I had to wait a minute before I started filming. Cause man, I've been puffing like a steam engine. Woo wee! Look at that. You fall right there, you'll never stop rolling. Here, a helicopter. Bob coming after me. Because it's a, uh, if y'all fat and out of shape just like I am, forget coming up here. Woohoo, no sir. It knocked the snot out of you, man. See, I got a little, just a tiny bit to go. See that spot right there? I think that's where the, where the cable car is. Make it to there. It's all downhill rush. Well, now the cave is uh, a lot of steps inside of it, so I'm not through walking. So, truck on. Well, we made it to the cable car finally. I didn't think I would though. Whee! What a walk. Like I said, if you're fat and out of shape, you can forget this one. This is a killer. But look where we're at. We're on top of the world, man. I'm going to take the cable car here. I'm going up a little bit higher. Let's see you at the top.
Yeah. You know what scare the heights? Well, okay. you wouldn't like this ride then. We're all the way up. Nice to meet you. And, uh, yeah, I'm all over the end of that. Wasn't so foggy because we got a full crew in here and everybody's huffing and puffing. Well, at least I am. This is what top of the world looks like, folks. Yeah, up here. I don't know what elevation we are. 10,000 feet plus. Oh, yes. Maybe we'll find a sign that tells us how high we are. Now, when I started from the train station, it was down there at the river right below. Went by Hogan's, not Hogan's, so I go, but some kind of whole wind castle right there. And now, we're up here on the top of the world, got another cable car, some more tourists on board. We get them right before the cable snaps and they plunge back down like we did. Didn't hurt though. Wow. Man. Glad I didn't have to walk all the way up. It felt like it at one point. I could walk down. That wouldn't be no problem. I got a restaurant up here. You can go eat at. I ain't steady eating right now. I'm just steady breathing, you know. This is some part. I uh, gotta go on the elevator now. Go up a little bit higher, I guess. I don't know. Surely they tell me. Cost 24 euro for the ice tour cave, including the lift. That lift was worth oh five thousand dollars probably. About what I would have paid. Made it out of the cave finally, even though it liked to kill me inside. If you ever get a chance to come here, you really need to go in. You'll really enjoy it. Uh, I'll post some pictures of what it was what like. I've got it inside my head, and you get to see photographs. So let's do some more in a little bit. It's probably the part where I play music and. It'd be looking at everything, you'd be in awe. Just like I am. You can sing the hills come alive with the sound of music if you'd like. Hey, there's a house down below on for sale. Where? Right there. Good night. He's been shaking. Oh, I have been killed going through this cave. <laughs> oh, well, I asked for it. Got to make it right back over there and get the cable car back. This is the easy part <laughs> going down. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know I sound like a whiner, but. Nothing in Texas or Alabama holds close to this, folks. I'm here to tell you. So, if you want a once-in-a-lifetime adventure, 
something you've never seen before. Probably never something you might never see again. I need a trip to Austria. Tell them Herr, D Herr Dave sent you. That's mystery, by the way. Take some aspirin and finish up a bottle of uh, water yeah. and uh, call it a day. I think. I might have a good time. You need to uh, come yourself and experience this. Wonderful place. You know, somewhere, there's a ticket off. I'm right here waiting on the bus to take me back. Well, we're up on the mountains where I was. I don't know if that hole we were looking at right there, see if I can get you zoomed in on it to see it. No, nope, that wasn't it. But it was up there about this level. And it's, man, it's a big old hill, I'll tell you what. Big hill. I'm still up pretty high. This uh, wait for the bus to come take me back down to Flatland, I guess, to the Hofbahnhof. Y'all know what that is, right? Train station. Well, sitting outside a little pizza place I found right outside the hotel. Uh. I just walked back from the train station where I got off from the ice cave trip and you couldn't drive a ten penny nail in my legs right now. They're so tight. Ooh, I'm going to be dying later. I brought some Advil with me, so I'll be taking them as soon as I get back. going to order me a pizza and a soda and go back and cool my jets in the room. So glad tomorrow is an off day for me. Do need it. Anyway, that's where we're at right now.